We hear a lot about the origins of the SARS-CoV-2 virus that causes COVID-19 nowadays. Hello and welcome to Science in 5. I'm Vismita Gupta-Smith and this is WHO's Conversations in Science. Today we're talking to Dr. Peter Benemberic about the origins of the virus. Welcome, Peter. Thank you. Peter, why is it important for the public and the scientists to know about the origins of this virus? It's important to understand the origin of the virus for uh, three key reasons. One is to, if we find the source uh, and if it's still out there, we can prevent uh, future reintroduction of the same virus into the human population. The second reason is that if we understand how this one jumped from a bat uh, origin into humans, we can perhaps prevent uh, similar events in the future, so to prevent future uh, similar pandemics. And the third reason is that if we can find uh, the virus, how it looked like before it jumped to the human population, we could potentially uh, uh, be in a better position to develop more efficient treatments and vaccines for this disease. Peter, you're leading the mission that will be studying the origins of this virus. Tell us about this mission and the people in it. We have uh, put together a team of uh, uh, 10 international experts, and this group will travel to uh, Wuhan in the coming days and uh, spend probably about a month there uh, working in close collaboration with Chinese uh, counterparts. The team includes experts in different fields that are necessary to help us understand the origin of the virus. There will be veterinarians, there will be medical doctors, there will be epidemiologists, there will be uh, virologists who are experts in, uh, in these viruses, there will be experts in uh, this type of diseases that originate in animals and jump to humans. Um, and uh, all together, we will work together with Chinese counterparts on different studies that hopefully will help us better understand uh, uh, this virus. We will start with uh, two weeks in a uh, hotel, in quarantine, where we won't be able to leave our rooms. We will all have our own rooms and stay there for two weeks. But uh, we will still be able to work um, from day one uh, remotely. And then after the two weeks of quarantine, we will be able to move around and uh, have face-to-face -face meetings and visit the different sites uh, and areas that uh, we would like to, uh, to see as part of our uh, studies. Peter, we see on social media a lot of uh, definitive claims that this virus originated in the laboratories. Tell us how do scientists look at this question and how should the public be looking at this question? We have now the tools uh, that allows us to look at the genetic makeup of these viruses. And when we look at our virus, the, the, the uh, COVID-19 virus, there is nothing in its makeup that would indicate that it has been uh, manufactured. It's clearly a natural uh, virus, and there are many of these around. We have seen several of them in the past, so it's in, it, in itself it's not a surprise. Laboratory accidents uh, happen Unfortunately, once in a while, it, uh, it, it has happened many times in the past. And of course, uh, it's, it's a, even a remote possibility. We have to uh, look at uh, this as a, as, a, as a possibility. So we will, of course, also look at that hypothesis among many others, even if it's an unlikely one. There is no evidence so far indicating that uh, anybody was working with this virus uh, in the past. Uh, there is no evidence to indicate that it would have escaped a laboratory in any way. But of course, we will uh, have that in mind when we look at, uh, at the origin of this virus. That was Dr. Peter Benemberic explaining how science will be looking for the origins of this virus. For more on this, tune in to our social media channels and be the source of trusted science-based information. Until next time then, stay safe. Stay healthy and stick with science.